As I mentioned in the last video, the MRCS examination is a fully intercollegiate exam, which means that the format and standard are common to all four surgical royal colleges of Great Britain and Ireland. Each college's exam is recognised by the medical regulatory bodies in Ireland, in the UK and in many other jurisdictions. Having successfully attempted the MRCS Part A exam, candidates can then go on to apply for the MRCS Part B OSCE. This is an objective, structured clinical examination that tests the examinee's knowledge and decision-making across a wide range of tasks. Candidates are allowed up to four attempts to pass the Part B exam. There are 18 examination stations assessing the broad content areas of anatomy and surgical pathology, applied surgical science and critical care, communication skills, and clinical and procedural skills. Apart from these discrete content areas, four domains of the competent surgeon are also assessed across the stations of the OSCE. Clinical knowledge and its application, clinical and technical skills, communication and professionalism. The Part B OSCE format allows candidates to take the exam in a single sitting over a morning or afternoon. It is held three times per year in Ireland, February, May and October, and at various times during the year in RCSI's overseas centres. While the MRCS is challenging, RCSI has developed a suite of courses and resources to support candidates in sitting for the exam. I would encourage you to use these supports and to ensure you are adequately prepared before attempting either part of the exam. I wish you every success in the MRCS and I look forward to welcoming you as a member of the Royal College of Surgeons in Ireland.